I'm Mungo Dark Matter and welcome to Dark Matters. Today on Dark Matters we're going to discuss whether a Macintosh computer can get viruses or not. Now the important thing to remember is that any device that can run a program could potentially get a virus. For example, programmable calculators could get viruses if somebody would take the time to write the virus and figure out how to spread it between calculators. The reason you don't see a lot of programmable calculators with viruses is people that use them don't share a lot of data between the devices or programs between the devices. So there's not a real good way to spread the virus and you might be able to spread it between a couple but you need to be able to spread it between millions of devices to really have the virus uh, have an effect on people. So Macintosh computers can get viruses but they're less likely to get viruses than say a Windows machine. Now there's a couple reasons for that. The first reason is if you're a Macintosh user you've probably noticed even if you are the administrative user and you have the power to you know load anything or delete anything or do whatever you want on the machine basically the Macintosh will still ask you for your password under certain circumstances. For example, if it wants to install a new program, if it wants to update a program, it's going to ask you for a password. And when you do certain other tasks, it's going to go, well, what's your password? What's the administrative password? Because it asks you for that, it makes it more difficult for the virus because the virus has to find a way around that or a way to figure out your password or a way to fool you into typing your password into that box. So that makes it a lot more difficult for a virus to infect a Macintosh. That's the first reason. The second reason is Macintosh is not Windows. <laughs> that sounds kind of mean, but Windows has the larger share of PCs in the world. Uh, so people are running more Windows machines than Macintosh machines, which means that people who are writing viruses are going to concentrate more on Windows because there's a bigger base and when there's a bigger base it's easier to spread a virus and it's easier to spread it faster and if you're a virus writer the thing you really want to do is probably spread the virus as fast as possible because as soon as the antivirus people find out about the virus they're going to put out a definition to stop your virus so the faster it spreads uh, the more machines it has a possibility of infecting. So that's the second reason why Macintosh has less problems with viruses. Probably a third reason too, and the third reason would be uh, I think a lot of people who write viruses just don't like Windows. And uh, for example, people who like Linux and Unix tend to really like Macintosh and there's probably two reasons. One, it is not Windows, and two, uh, Macintosh is actually based on a Unix type operating system. It has one running underneath it. So uh, people who, who like Linux and Unix tend to like Macintosh a lot more. And I think what happens is people who write viruses also don't like Windows or they want to make Windows look bad. So that's enough, enough of a reason to motivate them possibly to write a virus. And uh, so that would be maybe a third reason why Macintosh has a lot less trouble with viruses. Now they used to advertise, Macintosh used to advertise um, that uh, they didn't get viruses at all and now they are advertising that they're more secure. And the reason is, is that last year in 2012 uh, there was a virus that went around and spread around through Macintoshes uh, that was pretty not notorious and so they decided to stop you know, saying, hey, we, we don't get viruses because really anything that can run a program can get a virus and that's all you need to remember. So uh, some devices may be less likely to get a virus and that's because uh, their security as far as people being able to install all a program might be better or they may have less of a user base. And so that will uh, dictate how likely they are to get a virus. I'm Mungo Dark Matter and this has been Dark Matters and whatever you do, enjoy technology.